it's me, Ricky Rick, and look where I am. Do you see these big trucks behind me? That's right, those are ambulances. And today, we're with Olympic Ambulance here in Squim, Washington, and we're gonna learn about ambulances. I'm so excited, come on, let's get started. We've all heard of superheroes who wear capes and fly, but I've got heroes in my hometown. Sometimes I see them drive by. Check this out, this is a big ambulance and I'm super excited to look inside. Let's get started by taking a look on the outside, come on. is a bunch of different types of splints. Splints help support different body parts to help a patient stabilize if they've got an injury. Isn't that cool? Well, let's keep exploring. <laughs> Check this one out. Oh boy, this right here is a stair chair. This is used to transport patients down super steep stairs if there's no way around them. Isn't that cool? Oh, there's another compartment over here. Ambulances have so many different awesome compartments that are full of really helpful tools. It's like a hospital on wheels. Isn't that awesome? Oh, look at these. These are a bunch of big boards that help support a body when you're laying them down. That's pretty cool. And this right here, this is an O2 tank. O2 is another word for oxygen. So if you come up on an emergency and someone's not breathing very well, you can hook them up to that and give them oxygen. Isn't that so cool? Are you ready to take a look inside the cab? Well, first, I want to introduce you to one of my friends. This is my friend, Matt. Hey. He's an EMT. Matt, what is an EMT? Well, Breck, an EMT is an emergency medical technician. We provide basic life support for kiddos and adults. Wow, that's really cool. Well, I was wondering if we could take a look inside of this ambulance cab. Of course, let's go. Wow, check out the inside of this cab. There are so many different buttons here. Matt, what are these buttons used for? Well, th these buttons here will turn on the back where you have light in the back of the ambulance. Mm. And then also there's buttons that turn on the lights outside so that cars will move out of our way when we're driving down the road. Up here is the radio where we talk to uh, dispatch. Oh, okay, so what does dispatch tell you? Uh, they tell us where to go on a call and they give us updates on the calls as well. Oh, wow, that sounds really important. Better make sure that radio's working, huh? Wait a minute, listen. Uncle Teddy? That might be my Uncle Teddy. We better get going. Let's go. I'll grab the gurney. Okay, I'm gonna go check on the patient. Oh boy, Uncle Teddy, are you okay? Oh man, hey Matt, we're gonna need the backboard. We're gonna get you into the ambulance and check you out, okay buddy? Everything's gonna be fine. Oh boy. Well, we gotta take a look at him inside the ambulance. On you, Brecky Breck. One, two, three. Everything's gonna be okay, Uncle Teddy. We're gonna check you out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is buckle him in so he doesn't go anywhere. I want to make sure he's safe for transport. Yeah, Brecky Breck, do you want to see how we load the patient up into the truck? I would love to. All right, so right down here, you gotta get the brake up done. Oh, okay, so we've got a red brake, so it doesn't roll away. And then the plus button goes out. Whoa, look at that. Do you see these buttons right here? All right, pressing this button will raise it up. Pressing this button will lower it down. Oh, okay. Whoa, that's pretty cool. 
Wow, then you gotta get it lined up perfectly, and this will click green. Oh, now it's locked in there. And the minus button works to raise it up like that. Oh, cool, that's super smooth. Wow, well let's check out the inside of this ambulance while we assess Uncle Teddy. Wow, have you ever been inside of an ambulance before? I haven't. This is really awesome, Matt. Yeah. So what's the first thing we do when we get a patient in here, Matt? Well, we check his vitals to make sure he's doing okay. Oh, okay. So what is this machine right here, Matt? So this is a Zoll monitor. We're able to check their heart rate, their SpO2 level, their blood pressure. We're able wow. to check all their vitals. Wow, so you can check how their heart's doing, how their blood's flowing. There's a lot of different parts in a body that you can monitor. That's really cool. Wow, this right here is called a blood pressure cuff, and we're going to check his blood pressure and make sure he's doing okay. All right. Oh, he presses that button, and this is going to fill up with air. Wow, Uncle Teddy, it looks like you're doing all right. That's good news. Well, it looks like Uncle Teddy experienced a big fall. I think he fall fell out of that tree over there. Oh boy, Uncle Teddy. Well, I'm really thankful that Matt and all the medics on site can help out and help a patient when they're in need. That's pretty cool. So right now, we're going to hook up this BVM to Uncle Teddy. Wow, do you see this over there? This is oxygen. Did you see that big tank that I showed you in the back of the truck? Well, that supplies this with oxygen. Well, Brecky Breck, we would put this over their nose and their mouth, and we would squeeze this once every five to six seconds. Oh, he's doing it nice and slow. Wow, that's pretty cool. How are you doing, Uncle Teddy? Everything okay, bud? Oh, boy. It would be scary to fall off a big, tall tree like that. I'm glad you're okay. Well, it looks like he's doing better. Good job, Uncle Teddy. Well, since we're in here, Matt, can we take a look at the inside of this ambulance? Yeah, of course. Well, the first thing I notice is there are a lot of seats and seatbelts in here. What are all of them used for? Well, they're for different people to sit on these bench seats here, and wow. then this is the captain's seat. So how many people usually come along in an ambulance like this? Well, there's a driver, there's a medic, and an EMT in the back. Wow, so at least three. Well, I don't think Uncle Teddy needs to go to the hospital today. He's doing all right. But I'm so thankful that Matt and his crew are able and willing to help save the day when there's an emergency. And it's really nice to get a tour of this ambulance, so I know that we don't have to be scared about medical professionals and all of their help. It's actually really exciting to know that people are prepared to save the day. Wow, well thank you so much for coming along. Let's go, Uncle Teddy. Oh boy, Uncle Teddy, I sure am glad you're safe from falling out of that tree. I'm sure that was really scary. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for taking great care of my teddy bear and showing me all that you know in this ambulance. No problem, glad to help. Well, well, we'll see you later, bye. -bye.
and singing Help me